Welcome everyone to the King of the Palace, presented by New Palace Lanes in Fitchburg, Massachusetts, sponsored by North End Mazda Subaru in Lunenburg, Massachusetts. And on this episode of King of the Palace, the number five seed, Rick Kamrowski, who is no stranger to the King of the Palace, facing off against Ghost Rider, Johnny Blaze, the number four seed. Let's get to the action. I'm Dennis Nuzzo, standing here with this week's bowlers. To my left, with a roll-off score of 398 and the fifth seed, Rick Kamrowski. Welcome back, Rick. Welcome. Good to see you again. Good to see you again. And to my right, with a roll-off score of 401, the four, number four seed, Johnny Blaze, a.k.a. Ghost Rider. Welcome back. Oh, thank you. I nicknamed you Ghost Rider last, last time you were on. How do you, how do you feel about that? I noticed that uh, I bowled in the Twin City and people were calling me, it, and I, I didn't even know who these people were, so thanks a lot. Oh, it's good that we're catching on. I like that. <laughs> so uh, what are your thoughts about bowling against Rick? Oh, this is going to be fun. Any match to bowl, especially on this show. Very thankful that you guys are holding it, and uh, hopefully we both bowl well. Great. And Rick, your thoughts about bowling against John? I know it's going to be a tough match. I watched him bowling over there. He was in the pocket all, all uh, of the uh, preliminaries, and uh, they got a good match going. Great. Uh, and just to let everyone know, the current king, or the reigning king from last month, I should say, could not return this week. Uh, so we do have five seeds instead of just the four plus the king. So we will be crowning a new king this, this month. So good luck to you both, and I'll see one of you in the 11th box. Up first on Alley 3, Rick Kamrowski. Veteran Canapin Bowler, both before on the show. Left-handed bowler and leaves what, Dennis? That's how leery to start off with. To start off with. Rick's average is a 112. His high single is a 180. His high triple is a 447. No, well, it's got to go after attack this head pin, split it, and see what happens. Ooh, no. right around the 10. Oh, my goodness. His home alleys are Lucky Strike Lanes in Lynn. My former alma mater. Former Friday night alma mater. Thought he had the spit open it up. People, just didn't know. He opens up with a 10. Yeah, look at going down. The 10 pin just didn't get touched. Moving on to alley four. Box number two, string number one. Where did he qualify? At what score, David, for the people? Um, 398. 398. Yes. Very, very good can up and bowling. Oh, oh, and okay. Got a break. He's left the uh, three six. Three six piece. I won't even worry about the wood. Drill it through. Yeah, well, play it like tell you what, If he tries to split it, he may hit that cap yeah. and push it right out. Yeah. Might want it on the outside. Didn't touch it. Didn't touch it. Wide right. And he's left a three pin for a 10 box. Opens up with a 19. Kind of wishes, obviously, he wanted that spare. Up now, the number four seed. Johnny goes right a blaze. It caught on. He said he was born in the Twin City towns, and uh, people came up to him. You didn't know who they were, calling him Ghost Rider. So, yep. good to know where we're trending everywhere. Yep, Johnny comes out of uh, Southbridge, Mass. Another bowler was. Oh, there you go, right off the bat. Oh my goodness. No, I'm. I, I, this, this, uh, this medicine. This medicine. Oh my. It's a valium or something. Now here. Now. His high average is a 115, his high single is a 164, his high trip, 422, and his home alleys are boogie lanes. Opens up with the spread eagle, hits the head pin, and starts winning eight. Oh. Where is the justice in this game? Set it and forget it, man. Yeah, not a bad outdoor out of that mess. <sighs> Throw the ball 60 feet down the alley, guys. What happens? Start. Oh, he almost oh, threw it twice. Wow. No. If it happened, I would have. I'm not even. I, David, I'd have to take double the amount of my medicine. <laughs> Find the Tobin. Uh, David, it, it's. And now he does it again. He takes out. Just Punching one out. Out. He's lumberjacking right now. Uh, yep. To our sponsor, North End Mazda Subaru. Thank you very much for being a strong supporter. Uh, thank you to all the bowlers that participated in this qualifying round of the King of the Palace. A lot of new faces. A lot of new faces. Once again, this one ship, our good friend, Marty Babineau, up there at North End Subaru Mazda. 
Oh, come on, fall down. A little fall. later. Uh, you know what? That one pin up would have been a little bit better of an idea. Well, it could have fallen down and took out the 10. But could no. have, but did not. He studied. I'm going to play that red line and try to get some wall action. Yep. Red line that's on the six pin. Everybody likes, a, everybody likes a little action off the wall. Well, I'm going to go in, but I'm going after the on the left where he's going. And, and that's, that's why he didn't pick it up. That's why he didn't pick it up. We had someone uh, from Maine down here today, didn't we? Yes, we did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. in Maine, right there. Yeah, I want to thank all the viewers on YouTube. Um, oh, we're growing all the time. All the time. We have viewers from all over the world. Imagine that. That's awesome. Keep the questions coming. Keep anything you want to talk about, David? Dennis, we'll try our best to answer. Nice, nice pick up. Ten. Also want to mention that on May 30th, the big question was, Am I going to have it scratch, or am I going to have it 80% um, handicap? Well, as of the 30th, uh, the 25th, we have uh, 18 bowlers signed up, so I think I'm going to do the scratch. Excellent. And, first, uh, time. We'll, first time ever, and we'll yep. see if we can uh, push it around. The first time ever, people out there in bowling land, the king of the palace on the scratch. Also, I also want to mention that this is actually the very first time since episode one that we do not have a king. The yes. reigning king, Dan Chouinard, could not return for, because of prior commitments. So this, this round we took five new bowlers and we're actually going to crown a new king after this is all done. Uh, a lot of chopping going on. Well, so far, I put people out there in bowling land. We haven't got a mark yet. Bowlers appear to be struggling, but... I don't remember how many subscribers we had last taping, but earlier today we had 268. We're at 270 right now. Oh, just... We're just growing and growing. Yep. Glad to see it. Again, thank you very much for answering the call. Wow. wow. <laughs> David, please, oh, I'm sorry. Lord. Please, wanna, please. Wanna, to, uh, to, I'm sorry. I want to say uh, uh, thank you for all your comments and questions. Wow, we got some lumberjack going on. Speaking of comment, uh, th this uh, this person wanted a shout out, but they got it in like the same day as the last taping, so obviously we couldn't do it. As Ghost Rider throws a nine, um, Rudy Eula, and I know it's pronounced correctly because he told me how to say it. <laughs> wanted to, wanted to get a shout out. He is from Texas, and he also wanted to give a shout out to his mom Henrietta, and he loves you very much. Ah, uh, that's nice. So that shout out to Rudy and his mother Henrietta. Oh, got a little bit of a break. This, you know, nope. Left hand side of this head pin should John uh, plays push everything around. For four boxes, people, and two other, uh, excuse me, five. He's gotten spread again. He's a little off right now. A little off. Although we haven't had a mark yet. Either. We haven't had a mark yet. Yeah. What's this going to be? The tenth box, right? Yeah. No. Nice That's the box. That's all he wanted. After four, Rick Kamrowski at 36, Johnny Blaze at 34. Got a real barn burner on going on here, boys. Well, we've hit the head pins. Yep. David, yeah. head pins. the object of the game. Yep. I've said it time and time again. David said it. Dennis has I said it. I think somebody it. forgot Travis to put uh, juice it. on the alleys. Oh, could we have a first mark? Could be. They get it. He's left the second uh, pin. This is all set up. This is a beautiful shot right here. Kids, just keep the ball in the alley, Rick, and well, make contact well, well, with it's the ball. Keep make the contact. ball a little bit more than the alley. Well, don't put it in the gutter. Yes. There it is. First mark of the day. Here's the spear. Box number five. Let's see what happens. He right. wants the good fill. He wants a nine or a ten. Rick Bowles uh, on the Friday Night Mixed League, Wednesday Night Wednesday night Doubles League, and Lynn. They get a lot of good leagues out of Lucky Strike. Dave, uh, Dave Barber and his brother Jim and the rest of them do a great job with that place. Well, Se seven pin drop. Threw a weak ball there, didn't make contact with the head pins, left a 1 2 10 with some wood. Favorable, I think, if he splits these two, the one and the two, it should carry up to 10. But it should, but he's got a couple pieces yeah, of dead wood back but there. It's make it deflected. Nice, he played on the nice outside and got spear. it. Double spear, maybe the butterflies are gone. Maybe the luck is changing for the bowlers. Yeah, he seemed a little nervous in the pre-match interview, so maybe he's settling in. Well, wow, that's the camera. You know, yeah. oh, he's been here before. Dennis, it happens to us. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ghost Rider up. He bowls on Sunday night, Monday night leagues at Bogey Lanes. Now, 
Tampa is an example of people out there bowling. Not bad for the ocean. Right. Yeah. He throws the ball and basically, like David says, his pendant speech, threw it in the ocean, and he's left the 1-3 for a nice spare leave. And oh, oh nice. there you go. But yeah, before match. that, he hit the head pin Maybe twice and left the spread eagle. Maybe it's just one of those things that they were just waiting for somebody oh, to... Uh, don't, don't hit the head yeah. pin. Step up to the plate. Don't hit the head pin. And the term throw it in the ocean, just to clarify if people don't know, that means you, you when you release a ball, it the ball just goes way off the head pin, not even close to it. Basically, you know, throw, throw a pebble in the ocean just to see the ripple. Yeah, that one was actually on in the Pacific Ocean because it was left-hand side. Yeah. He's dropped five on the spare, a little weak on the left side. He's left the one pin. Could, Could be. Could be. He's got He's some juice in it. Come on. Oh. Wow. No. That was almost the, uh... That was almost the, yeah. Uh, the, new, the new term that we're waiting so anxiously to unveil. <laughs> The four pin wiggles, it moves. You can actually see where it's going. Nice nice ten. Nice ten. You think it would have fallen down into the seven, give the ball of a spear? No. After six, Rick Kamrowski at 63 working on a spear, and Johnny Blaze at 59. Well, Rick, Rick is up, two marks in a row. Let's see if he gets the third one. I want to thank everybody that came out for season three, since this will be the last 80% handicap of season three. Um, <clears throat> for all the bowlers from when we first started season one, season two, and into season three. Thank you so very much for coming out and supporting the show. Um, all the viewers on YouTube land and local access, we are deeply indebted to your dedication to the show. Um, nice pick up. Three in a row. Three in a row. Excellent. Can of like, you know, uh, your comments. Everything. Everything. You guys, we read them. You we answer them. We discuss them. Okay, Rick, I answer them quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. Well, Rick, if I if I I'd like to answer a lot more if I had a lot more time on my hands, but been kind of busy. What are you trying to say? I'm busy. <laughs> well, Rick Campbell, you're a federal me. employee. Follow the five bucks. Follow oh, this. Bucks in a row. Look at this. Come on, one more. Come on. Look at this. Take the ten. It's got three marks in a row. Okay, People Steve, there here you go. Down. How, come, how come the nine pin did not drop? Because it wasn't hit. There you go. <laughs> you're learning. It took you three seasons, and you're finally learning. Oh, no, I learned it from Dennis Nuzzo. He's the one who <laughs> clued me in on it. Never thought of it that way. He wants this four in a row. Oh, nice. oh wow. Oh, He's is. got four spears in a row. It's called an eagle. Very, very good. Yeah, he's, yep, he's starting to pull away from Johnny. Ghost Rider needs to mark Opened here. Opened up with no marks and score, and now he's got four in a row. He's a triangle, otherwise known as the Mongo. And how many are there, Dennis? Six. That's correct. Very you you're teaching me something, too. Oh, oh come on. did you steal it? Oh. oh, wow. You thought he hit that perfectly, yeah. right? Now what? And once again, why didn't the five pin fall? I know, didn't get hit. There you go. See? Wanted to thank everybody that came out and partake, participated, I should say, in the Taste. second annual Twin City Challenge. Oh yes, um, it went, went over well. That went, yeah, we had uh, we had a pretty good turnout. We um, want to say congratulations to Mr. Too Tough Clough, who won the A division. Um, I actually got to watch that bowl, him bowl, and he just had to turn it on at the end. Yeah, he was there too, David. Excellent camera from bowl. Yeah, and I heard some clown won the B division. Yeah, we won't mention who he is. No, we'll Dave Madela. We'll leave, we'll leave <laughs> it. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> it wasn't easy. How many people were inventing that dead roll off? There was 20. 20. That means you're the best of 20 bowlers, David. It made, it made me work. After eight, Rick Kamrowski is 97 working on a spare, and Johnny Blaze at 78. Obviously, the four spears in a row really helped Rick here. Put a lot of distance between he and oh, he's got John Blaze. Not over yet. He's going into box nine. He's going to fill the spear, hopefully, with a seven, eight, nine, excuse me, eight, nine, or a ten, as I always like to say. In the ninth box, the foundation box. Wow. He hammers it. He's dropped eight. He's left the uh, four and the eight for spare. Not as easy as it looks, but let's see if he gets it. Well, we did not get an eagle. Four marks in a row. Five, excuse me. Five marks in a row. We did not get the badge. Got the eagle, but he didn't get the badge. Rick wants to give a shout out to his wife, Debbie, 
and daughters, uh, Kara, Kelly, Susie, and his son, Jared. I believe that is Jared. So, hello all. Okay. Hope you're doing well. Obviously watching the show. Watching. And the one thing that, one thing that Rick Kamrowski wants to see on the show, more me. Uh, nothing like nothing like confidence. Him or you? Me more. That's, That's right. Oh, him. See, In other words, he wants he to see more of himself. Well, I, thought, I didn't know if you meant you, Dave Madela. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Did we get enough? I can, I can only take myself in small doses. <laughs> you and the rest of the world. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, I have to give. I really have to give a special thanks to FATV. Absolutely. Um, we are now the award-winning King of the Palace TV show. Um, apparently, the people over at FATV were like on drugs or drunk or something when they nominated us for best personality on air. Um, so thank you very much, FATV. Um, and you have to thank, we can't do this without our OEPD. The outstanding um, executive producer, director. Oh, look at this. Oh, come on. Yeah, without, wow. without Travis, the show would be nothing. Oh, it's gone. Yeah, There's Travis, only one Travis. Travis Fox. makes the show. There's only um, one Travis Fox. He There's makes no us look good. He makes us sound good. He makes what you see on the show possible. And I just want to give a shout out to a good friend of mine. Um, I want to do a lot of tough things. So uh, stay strong, fight the good fight. Who's that? A really good friend of mine. Oh, oh I thought you wanted to mention he is she in the air. I'm sorry. I will not. Yeah. Okay. Johnny, For out of respect. Yeah. Okay. Johnny Blaze needs to turn on. He's now 26 points off the box. Finds the head pin once again. That okay. person's that person's watching. She, they know who I'm talking about. He's left a real tough spit here, Dennis. Where are you going with this? You oh, split, split him. him. Definitely split him. Yeah, he's off. Yeah, he's, he needs to find it in the second string. Pressing a little bit here. Appears to be overthrowing a little bit. But he's going really hard. I saw something the other day. Um, on YouTube about Candlepin Bowling and um, the one thing I can say after bowling for so many years and seeing so many people bowl is it does you do not have to throw the ball super hard. Correct. Oh yeah, sure. The harder you throw the ball. Does it yeah. I've preached that a number of times. Speed speed doesn't necessarily mean a high score people. No. Nope. Yeah, you gotta um, up now on alley three. Setting uh, string two. Ghost Rider, Johnny. The head pin. He's left. Uh, come on, fall down, 10 pin. The scores after the first string are Rick Kamrowski at 120 and Johnny Blaze at 97. 23 oh. pin lead. Ghost Rider's got some work Going to do. After this. Not going to do it like that. Nope. <laughs> Up there in Bowling Land, people, the 3 and the 10, better known as the baby split. The baby split. Give a shout out to our sponsor, North End Monster Subaru. Go see our friends. Marty Babino and his excellent sales staff in Lunenburg, Massachusetts, or go visit buynorthend.com. Great folks, great supporters of the show, and hopefully um, we can keep them for season four. Absolutely, hopefully we can get a few more also. Which will be starting in September. Yeah. Last Saturday in September, David. Dennis, the fourth year of the greatest Canopin Bolo show. Ever to appear on with the award-winning commentary. That's, That's right. Correct. Often imitated, never duplicated, and the only show with the world title belt. Nobody can ever say that we copied anybody. We are the innovators. That's right. That is correct. You thought about it, David? You made the belt, David? Well, you, you know, it, 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 we just, it just wasn't me that thought about it. There was a lot of people on, I can't take all the credit, because there was people on YouTube oh, and people, nice you. people in my ear that were saying, hey, we should do something and well, do something. Well, I wanted to do a king. I and, wanted to do like and a crown. Do, and do like a, a up now Rick Kamrowski in Alley 3. And it was so, they wanted me to... to get like a replica belt from like a pro wrestler and stuff like that and that I wasn't having that because I don't like I don't no. like being um, copying somebody yeah you had to do your own you had to make it you had to have the David Metallic belt that's the king of the palace and, belt and the king of the palace excuse me stand corrected thank you David and the also king of the next season we were talking about taking the show on the road yeah we are we are working on it you know um, we have a couple of houses in mind a couple of people just, have expressed interest. We just have to, we have know, to dot the I's and cross the, cross the T's. Right, and we have to kind of, you know, wonder, 
the former uh, reigning king at that time if he's willing to travel and we have to talk to FATV to get the all, all the equipment there so it, it may not happen right off the bat but, but the plan is to, to, to do it well, so can open it takes a, it takes a lot of, it takes a lot of effort for the OEPD to turn around and set everything up and travel you know? But he'll get it done if we can do it. There's well, only one Travis Falk. That's that's <laughs> undisputed, right? Are you smiling, David? Well, I kind of wonder if Travis Falk's going to be getting an award, too, because he's yeah. the award-winning executive, outstanding executive outstanding producer. Outstanding executive producer. I asked him that earlier. He said he, he's not eligible because he works there. Well, well I'm going to turn yeah. around. You know what? We'll do it ourselves. We, we should I, give him one. I, I, have to, I, have to give him a, I have to give a little speech uh, for, for all of us, you know, when we accept the award. So I'm going to turn around, and I'm going to say it to him. Why, I can't, we can't talk to him? You talk enough, don't you? No. <laughs> one minute, yeah. Well, he does. <laughs> oh, there was one. There was one request, Steve. You have to wear your flag shorts. Oh God. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. The world famous um, ones. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to turn around and tell Travis, uh, the OEPD, Travis Falk, to stand up and take a bow. Absolutely. Uh, wow, well, the wood would. Yeah, wood was him a on that one. Yeah, it was a world oh. that one. He's left the. Uh, Six ten for ten. Just dropped right. up a six. After two, Dennis, what do we got? After two, we have Johnny Blaze at seventeen and Rick Kamarowski at twenty. Overall, the twenty-six deficit. pin lead for Rick right now. Well, here it is for John Blaze. Yeah, he's, he's, a, yeah, he's just not throwing the ball in the ocean. Oh, no, did, no, but he's got a he could be pressing scale. a little bit. Yeah. Now he's got the one, the five, the nine, and the ten. If he blasts this back straight back, he might. Pick it. There, there you go. go. You called it, Dennis. That might have done it. They had a lot of deadwood back there, so it could have went either way. I think he understands that he's uh, behind the eight ball and he needs to start. Yeah. Here's the big groove. This is the big shot. This is the big shot. He's off that head. He's going to kill him. Oh, when he is not bowling, he is uh, tracking sports teams and spending time with his family. He also wants to thank New Palace Lanes for hosting this tournament and thank you to all the bowlers who participate. Absolutely. And thank you, Johnny Blaze. Go straight out. I'm glad I we could give you a nickname that stuck. I mean we. We. Us. <laughs> As in general. Us. Because, you know, what's kind of funny is is Mr. Mr. Too Tough Cluff was um, uh, bowling in the qualifier and before he we started he was here early and we were talking and I guess uh, Shu, Mr. Goth here, was up in Canada. Yep. And one of the kids asked Shu if he heard if he heard of or knows Mr. Too Tough Clough. That's and that awesome. was a, that's how exactly how the kid the the, the kid uh, oh, nice shot. Nice shot. I shot. I was mentioned Too Tough Clough. So nicknames are sticking. Like I said, we're trending everywhere. We love it. The one, two, ten. Excellent panel pin no, Phil Clough is like, what can I say? He's just like one of the best bowlers I've ever seen. He showed me, Phil actually showed me paperwork from when he started bowling. And the, and besides a few here and there, the guy hasn't lost a step, no matter what he says. <laughs> He's very modest. Yeah. Let's do Phil the spear with this. And I'll tell you what. Wow, look at this, man. Look at this, yeah, the one, three, seven, eight, nine. And a half. <laughs> yeah, right. You gotta go after the head. This is a cluster bunch. It. Yeah, very difficult. Came How does that one happen? I'd actually try to play the left of this head pin and get some ball action going. Ooh. Which I think is what he was trying. Uh, to I think he just kind of dropped it out of his hand. No, grab the out, reset it. Yeah. That's all you can do. Hopes to get three out of four here. Actually, I think two would be pretty good. But we only got one. Yep. So I mean, there's there's been comments all over YouTube about saying this or saying that or. Adding verbiage or cracking jokes or whatever it may be, you know. Some people come in and say, hey, why don't you say this on the show? And if I like it, I use it, you know. Johnny Blaze leaves the Caleri. After four, Rick Kamarowski's at 42, and Johnny Blaze is at 42. Oh, he picked up the cut and left the Leary. Wow, how do you how, leave that three-third pin in? How did, it, how did it stay up there, Dennis? I have no idea. You know how. Come on. You can are, you, are, you gonna, are you going to have Travis do like a, a whole montage again <laughs> on how he, on how that happens? Did, did you see that? How the spread eagle was taken out? Travis did it on the show. It was awesome. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, he, now um, he bangs the head pin. He finds the head pin. And look at this mess. This isn't actually that bad. That piece of deadwood well, could serve to help him. But. It's got a 
hit the three pin, obviously, the yard. Okay. We'll see what happens. Oh, nice yeah. pick up. We call it All right. Sure. I have a question of the week from Jonathan Barshall. Is it common to see a piece of deadwood jump from the lane into the next lane over? What is the wackiest stuff each if the commentators have seen in their bowling careers? Thanks, and go Dread Eagles. Yes, it is more common than you think, actually. Yep. As Rick leaves the MK. <laughs> strangest thing strangest thing ever seen? Yes. Can I lead off? Yeah, go, go right ahead. ahead. Filling a mock in the state championships in 1981 up in Worcester. I was on a spare lead and threw the first ball between the one and the three pin and got a zero for it. Never knocked a pin down. Only you, Steve. Yep. Only I you. I stood there and stood there, and finally the director of the tournament, who at the time was Tony Zerner, who was state of the tournament, the world famous camp from Lady Bowler's husband, and he said, Steve, you threw a legal ball with 10 legal pins, you get a zero. There you go, baby. And that is the one time I can truthfully say, how did that happen? How does that happen? Wow. To put the ball, and I have witnesses. It's not something I'm making up. Huh. Dennis? The yes. weirdest thing I've ever seen, not in person, but on TV, was uh, Dave Godwin. When I, it was the Comcast show. He threw a ball, and you can see this on YouTube. That's how I saw it. He threw a ball. It hit like the, not the one-two pocket, but the, like the two-four pocket. The five pin got shoved into the wall so with such force. It came back, took out the ten pin, and stood in the ten pin's place in the exact spot. Wow. wow. David, yours? Oh, geez, there's been so many of them, but I think that the weirdest thing I have seen... Um, is <laughs> oh nice oh, nice pickup nice is I actually have seen um, on a spare shot the bowler threw the ball down hit the deadwood the ball went one way the pin went the other and when I meant the ball went the other way the ball actually bounced into another alley and actually took down pins. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Johnny throws a nine fill on a oh, spear. He needs this spear. Precious man. He gets this spear, Dennis. He, he closes yeah, the box. Box to box. He's down 13 right I now. I don't like this with him. There you go. He drilled it. Two in a row. This is what he needs to do right now. He needs to come back. He needs to. Now he needs to. The turkey. Let's see. What, he's found his confidence now, guys. You can tell it. Seems like he's, he's a little loose of throwing right now. He's out of the head stick. We called it, Dennis. Wrecking Wrecking the rat. We called it. You can tell. You can tell the ball. Yeah. From, well, from sitting back here, you can see the arm swings, and you, you can see it's nice and you can see it's nice and loose. This is getting it. He's got the turkey. Three in a row for John Blaze. This is getting interesting. And he's found the ball. Wow, wow, he could get one right here. Wiggling. Come on, fall down for the it's ball. It's the waggle. Uh oh. Uh oh. Look at this mess. Well, you know what? What's that? You know? This is going to be a tough shot right here, oh. man. I, have, hits, if you hit the wood in the front, pitch. it's going to ricochet. I play the, where the five pin is. You yeah, have to put some way, power way on left. this. Yeah. It's got to go, in my opinion. David, I'm going way right. This Dennis? is where you want to muscle yeah. up to take a steroid shot. Yeah, exactly. you got to put some power and get some action. Yeah, That's what he's right. playing. Yeah, nice, nice, pick up. Nice, nice, nice shot. Difficult, nice shot. And we will be crowning a new king. Absolutely. Dan Chenard cannot retain his title um, because of due to prior commitments. So when the smoke is cleared in this end, we will have a new King of the Palace champion well, he's for it. the end of season three. And the next three balls waiting in line are all new to the show. Yes, they are. Oh. That was a good bid on that. Well, he's got to make sure he gets at least one out yeah, of two he, here. Yeah. This is going to come down to the final two boxes. Ghost Rider took down uh, quite a few pins. Oh. He gets an eight box. So where are we standing? So Dennis? after eight, Rick Hamrowski at 84, Johnny Blaze at 100 working on a strike. Seven pins, it's uh, Johnny Blaze down, and he can do some damage right here with the strike. So if he off. fills the strike with an eight in the ninth box, he'll be up a pin. He's up a pin. That could be doubled. Okay. Very, very, very big spot. Yeah. Oh, he faced that one, Dennis, huh? Put it right in the face. He's got four marks in a row. We got another what, Dennis? Another eagle. eagle. Another eagle on television. 
very, very, very difficult to go out there and ball him like that. Let's see if he can get the ball. Oh. He's nice and loose right now. Yeah. That's what he wants he's to found be. It. He's throwing a hard ball him. now. Yeah. The conference is there. The approach is there. The delivery. It's amazing, guys. Drop of a hat. Drop, drop of a hat. It's unbelievable. And if the reverse is also true, more That's quickly, right. more often than yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, I'll agree with you. You'd be you on agree? fire, and then yeah. you just hit a wall. Well, he needed the, the 6-10 for a bad. Unfortunately, he missed Great strength. With 10. 138 string for him. Gives nice. him two string total of 235. He came out after five with a 51 and finished with a 138, which means he had a 49 and 87 half with four marks. This is it. People out there in Berlin. What's he need, uh, Dennis? Uh, Rick needs to mark. Yeah. <laughs> no fans are about to go. Oh, right there, good pitch. 7-10 split, lots of jokers on the deck. Box to box, Johnny Blaze is up three pins. And wow. And now he's up against a spare eight. He's off to 7-10. It's going to be a close match. Candlepin bowling, better known as the railroad split. Where are you going, guys? I'm spraying and praying, kid. Yeah. yeah. I'm going way right. Make sure I take up the Nice hard ball. I'm going to go left nope. right where he's going. Oh! Nice pick That's up. my pal. You've called it twice in a row. Yeah, I'm good today. It's Candleton <laughs> Bowling. He got it in the ninth box. Talk about a pressure shot. What do we need, buddy? Dennis? Um, well, he's down three pins box to box. He's up against an eight ball right now, so he definitely needs a decent fill and another mark. Yeah, he needs another mark, definitely. Right, yeah. Let's see what happens. Oh, that oh. Wow. You talk about pressure people out there in Canada. Knowing you need another mark, you're in the 10th box. Big you're crash. going after the king of the palace, and what do you do? You get the strike on the spear. How's that for Canada? Bone? Three out of the last four boxes. All he needs is two pre pins. Pressure on. He just needs he two gets, pins. But it looks like he's going to succeed. Yeah. Well, you we'll find out. Stranger things have happened. <laughs> that's for sure. I know. I, that's why I'm Two pins. That. That's why get pluck one, pluck that's one. That's why I'm talking so Let's see There it is. Oh, there it goes. Got Mr. Old. Rick Kamrowski no. will be. Takes out the Ghost Rider. Three Moving out of on. four boxes. He gets a mark. Ghost Rider goes down in four flames. Four in a row. My goodness. People out there in Bowling Land. This is Camelop and Bowling. How we like it. Nice, exciting thing. He needed the mark, two marks, and he got him. And he with the nine, he total of 123 string with a two string total of 243. Eight pin lead for Rick Kamrowski with a match. That was awesome. That was very exciting coming down. Rick Kamrowski had seven spears and one strike. And Johnny Blaze had five spears and one strike. Well, congratulations to Mr. Rick Kamrowski, who will be facing the number four seed next week. Number three seed. Oh, number three seed, excuse me. Newcomer Richie Myrak. Once again, people, he needed a mark in the 10th, and he got it. Excellent uh, can of and bowl. Yep, let's get to Dennis Nuzzo in the 11th box to talk with our winner. Go get him, Dennis. Welcome to the 11th box. I'm Dennis Nuzzo, standing here with this week's winner, Rick Kamrowski. That was a great ma match, Rick. Um, you had him by 23 pins, then you were down a bunch, and then you came back in the end and just destroyed him. You were actually down, like, in the teens or roughly around that area, and he, he just couldn't get anything, and you just destroyed it. That was a great bowling on you. Thank you, thank you. He, he had a hell of a match, too. He came back from 26, I think it was, to go ahead by. 16, 17 pins. Yeah, I, I thought it was over then. Yeah, at one point he was you, he was down 26 and he did come back, but then yeah. you just persevered and great bowling. Yeah, I got I got a break with the uh, the first string he was punching, so. Yeah, oh, but you're still yeah, great bowling. Uh, next week uh, you're going to be facing a number three seed with a roll-off score of 414, Richie Myrick. See everyone then.